General Motors, Supplier Selection for Innovation Case Study. Welcome to another dive into the fast-paced world of automotive innovation. Today, we're strapping in for a ride with Angela Hanna, a key player in General Motors Brake Systems purchasing team. She's part of the GM Autonomous Vehicle AV, launch team, and she had to craft a sourcing proposal for e-boost modules, crucial for powering both the upgraded 2020 Chevrolet Bolt electric vehicle and the all-new 2020 Chevrolet Bolt autonomous vehicle. GM had the luxury of choosing from four potential international suppliers, each presenting a unique set of advantages and drawbacks. These considerations span factors like pricing, product development capabilities, and the underlying architecture of the braking system. GM, with a vision to disrupt the autonomous vehicle industry, placed paramount importance on public safety and delivering a flawless, defect-free product. Preserving their market leadership meant not only focusing on innovation but also securing ownership of the intellectual property associated with the e-boost modules. And hey, before we move forward, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. You wouldn't want to miss out on the exciting content I've got lined up for you in the future. The Bolt EV, Electric Marvel on Wheels. GM hit the jackpot with the Chevrolet Bolt EV, their first-ever ground-up, long-range electric vehicle. Packed with a 60-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery, this baby delivered over 200 miles of pure electric range. Impressive, right? Charging up after a 50-mile commute? Just a two-hour pit stop. And if you're in a rush, the optional fast charging system gives you a cool 90 miles in just 30 minutes. But it's not just about the numbers, GM gave designers a blank canvas. The flat battery design meant seating for five and a spacious 16.9 cubic feet of cargo space. The Bolt EV looked like a crossover model with its sleek profile and oversized windows, giving passengers a bright and airy feel. Lightweight materials, a 102.4-inch wheelbase, and snappy acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7 seconds, made the Bolt EV a true game-changer. Expected to roll out from the Orion assembly plant in Michigan, this electric marvel was priced around $30,000 after tax credits. Get ready for an electrifying ride. EV Evolution. Enter the Chevrolet Bolt AV. Hold onto your seats, folks, because the Bolt saga doesn't stop there. In 2020, GM announced the Chevrolet Bolt AV, its first crack at an autonomous vehicle, Level 4. This wasn't just a facelift, it required an entirely new braking system, seamlessly integrated with the vehicle's artificial intelligence, the brain of the car. But why the AV twist? GM, Cruise, and Lyft teamed up to unleash a fleet of fully autonomous Bolt AVs on the streets. Picture this, self-driving taxis zipping around with trained backup operators just in case. The plan? Test these babies on the road, learn from them, and fine-tune the autonomous systems. Braking Boundaries, Brake Technology Unleashed. Now, let's hit the brakes, no pun intended. Brake technology is where the rubber meets the road, especially in the world of autonomy. The key player here is the brake booster, and GM sourcing queen, Angela Hanna, knows the drill. EV propulsion opened doors to electronic brake booster, e-boost technology, waving goodbye to the old vacuum boosters. For AVs, levels 3 and 4, it meant two e-boost modules, a primary and a redundant secondary, ready to kick in during emergencies. For the semi-autonomous Bolt EV, level 2, the primary brake is your good old brake pedal, with a secondary e-boost module as a backup. But here's the catch, the e-boost module comes with its own set of intellectual property, IP, a crucial piece of the puzzle. Sourcing Odyssey, Angela's Mission. Angela Hanna's mission? Source the e-boost modules for the souped-up 2020 Chevrolet Bolt EV and the futuristic 2020 Chevrolet Bolt AV. Negotiate, award contracts, and ensure the Orion assembly plant gets what it needs for production. The timelines? March 2018 kicks off the journey with prototypes, and by October 2019, regular production is in full swing. The AVs? They're hitting the roads for testing and learning, thanks to GM, Cruise, and Lyft's collaboration. But it's not all smooth roads ahead. A statement of requirements, SOAR, needs to be out, detailing GM's IP needs. Rapid tech advancements mean flexibility in the SOAR, and suppliers might throw in their own innovations. Why? 
Because the AV game is new, development costs are rolled into the product price. From radar systems to litter systems, it's a playground of innovation. GM's marketing wizards are still crunching numbers to decide the Chevrolet Bolt AV's price tag. Let's dive into the potential suppliers for General Motors as they seek the best fit for e-boost modules, crucial for the advanced 2020 Chevrolet Bolt electric vehicle and the groundbreaking 2020 Chevrolet Bolt autonomous vehicle. Non-quantitative analysis. Let's delve into a non-quantitative analysis of potential suppliers for General Motors as they navigate through choices for e-boost modules, an integral component for the advanced 2020 Chevrolet Bolt electric vehicle and the cutting-edge 2020 Chevrolet Bolt autonomous vehicle. Rosie Automotive International Pros and Cons Meet Rosie Automotive International, RAI, based in the Shanghai region of China. On the positive side, RAI boasts a stellar reputation and holds intellectual property rights, crucial for safeguarding proprietary information. It was General Motors' go-to supplier for the 2018 Chevrolet Bolt EV due to its capacity to quote all the necessary e-boost modules. However, challenges lie in the competitive landscape, the need for extensive software control, and increased prices. The rising costs were justified by RAI, citing regulatory costs and increased labor expenses in China. To offset these, Rosie Automotive International sought a larger portion of General Motors business and a guarantee of a long-term contract. Elroy International Pros and Cons Now, let's turn our attention to Elroy International in Mexico. Elroy International's advantages include supplying various products and being added to GM's bid list. However, the downside involves sharing intellectual property information, a potential risk for Elroy International. Despite not being a regular supplier of brake systems, Elroy International acquired Cogswell Braking Systems, earning a spot on General Motors' bid list. The company was willing to share its internet protocol to build trust with General Motors. Elroy International's e-brake systems comprised three unique subclasses, and its quotation included significant quantities of brake hardware features acquired from Orbity International Manufacturing and Technology Company. Elroy International managed manufacturing parts of its AV instruments and owned the e-boost system software. RUDI Braking System Pros and Cons Moving on to the RUDI Braking System, based in California. RUDI has a long-standing relationship with General Motors and produces various Chevrolet Equinox programs. Its strengths include fame, consistent operation, multilingual capabilities, and the production of enough electric modules. However, RUDI was hesitant to share the origin of its electric elements and intellectual property rights until gaining expertise. The company emphasized its commitment to close collaboration with General Motors and its willingness to share intellectual property information once expertise was gained. Orbity International Manufacturing and Technology Company Pros and Cons Lastly, let's explore Orbity International Manufacturing and Technology Company, a global player headquartered in Munich, Germany. Orbity has a rich history of collaboration with General Motors, including winning projects like the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, vehicles. The company's global presence and reputation for innovation make it an industrial frontrunner. However, Orbity's arrogance and lack of customer service pose challenges. Despite this, General Motors opted to include Orbity due to its proven track record in engineering and automotive design. As General Motors weighs the pros and cons, the decision-making journey continues, and the quest for the ideal supplier unfolds. Stay tuned for the next chapter as General Motors inches closer to making a crucial choice in the dynamic world of autonomous vehicles. As General Motors GM, delves into the intricate process of selecting the perfect supplier for its advanced vehicles, several key factors come into play. Let's explore the elements GM should carefully consider as it navigates the supplier evaluation journey. Supplier Evaluation Factors When it comes to evaluating potential suppliers and their products, General Motors has a comprehensive checklist. Competency, communication, culture, cleanliness, cost, cash, consistency, commitment, capacity, and control all take center stage. GM meticulously examines a supplier's competency by assessing their abilities and aligning them with the company's needs. Seeking customer reviews becomes crucial, 
Understanding whether previous clients were satisfied, faced challenges, and reasons behind supplier changes. Capacity is a critical parameter, ensuring that the supplier can efficiently handle GM's requirements, respond promptly, and adapt to market fluctuations. Investigating whether the supplier's resources align with client requirements becomes imperative for GMA commitment to quality standards and an assurance of control over the supply chain, processes, and policies underscore the supplier's reliability. General Motors looks for financially sound suppliers with affordable costs, consistent quality, and an established reputation. Moreover, suppliers aligned with environmental sustainability, fair customer treatment, robust corporate social responsibility, and effective communication skills find favor in GM selection process. Understanding the significance of intellectual property. Intellectual property emerges as a cornerstone in fostering innovation for companies like General Motors. Without the protection of ideas, creativity and emphasis on research and development, R&D, would wane. For GM, intellectual property safeguards core operations and R&D practices, providing a robust negotiating position for counterclaims and cross-licensing. It serves as a deterrent against cheap imitations, discourages potential competitors, and clears technological pathways for future market dominance. The pros of intellectual property rights extend to enhancing a business's value and using it as collateral for debt. Geographical influence on decision-making. The geographic location of a business carries substantial weight in influencing customer perception and attracting top talent. For General Motors, the choice of geographic location is strategic. Different parts of a city hold distinct reputations, and GM aims to position itself in reputable regions. A favorable geographic location not only attracts a broader customer base but also contributes to building a positive brand image. By strategically placing its business at the heart of a city, General Motors seeks to create an indelible mark and establish itself as a leader in the automotive industry. Conclusion In the ever-evolving landscape of the automotive industry, General Motors is faced with critical decisions that could shape its resilience and flexibility in the face of unforeseen challenges. One such decision revolves around the strategy of supplier reliance. Should GM stick to a single supplier or spread its bets across multiple partners? The case for diversification. Choosing multiple suppliers over a single one isn't just a matter of playing it safe, it's a strategic move that can shield General Motors from the unpredictable twists and turns of the supply chain. By diversifying its supplier base, GM can navigate through potential challenges that might otherwise cripple a sole supplier's ability to deliver specific products. Imagine relying on a single source for crucial components only to face disruptions in the wake of a natural disaster or unforeseen circumstances affecting that lone supplier. The perils of sole dependence. Relying solely on one supplier exposes General Motors to risks that go beyond mere inconvenience. It's a vulnerability that becomes glaring when disaster strikes, a scenario where dependence on a single source can lead to significant disruptions. Natural threats, with their unpredictable nature, pose a tangible risk, especially when all your automotive eggs are in one supplier's basket. The repercussions can be far-reaching, affecting production timelines, market presence, and, ultimately, customer satisfaction. Strength in diversity. Enter multiple suppliers, the unsung heroes of risk mitigation. Having a diversified supplier network isn't just about having alternatives, it's a strategic buffer against unforeseen challenges. When one supplier faces hurdles in meeting GM's requirements, others can step in to fill the gap. This becomes particularly crucial when a specific supplier lacks the necessary items or cannot produce components integral to General Motors operations. Recommendation. The power of many. As General Motors charts its course forward, the recommendation is clear, embrace the power of many. Diversifying suppliers isn't just a risk management tactic, it's a smart business move that aligns with the dynamic nature of the automotive industry. By spreading its reliance across multiple suppliers, GM can fortify its supply chain, ensuring continuity even in the face of unforeseen challenges. In the intricate dance of supplier selection, General Motors can find strength in diversity. It's a strategy that not only safeguards against potential disruptions but also positions GM as a resilient force in the competitive automotive landscape.
So, here's to a future where General Motors drives forward, not just with speed but with the strategic agility that comes from a diverse network of reliable partners.